you just look for, you know, like a fluttering tail in the water, or a lot of times they, they see you first and they'll dart around and so you can just watch the water. Years of fishing have prepared volunteer Dennis Hinton for his daily checks of Fauntleroy Creek. I feel very childlike. I mean, I mean, really, like a kid in a candy store. For decades, the creek was essentially dead. It served as a drainage ditch with dirty water that fish couldn't even swim up. It went the way of many urban streams and, and uh, uh, became a dumping ground. Urban stormwater is lethal to coho salmon. This video shows what happens when coho are put in the toxic mix of runoff. They gasp for breath and eventually die. What happens in the ocean happens in the ocean. We cannot control it. But what we can control is the health of the habitat for juveniles. Judy Pickens bought the property several decades ago, but admits she didn't initially want to get into salmon habitat restoration. Thanks to her willingness and a lot of volunteers, new vegetation, a fish ladder, and other improvements have turned the once dirty drainage ditch into a creek that welcomes dozens and sometimes hundreds of coho every year. They are great advertisement for the major environmental work that is going on and needs to go on outside of the city. Though this creek is home to coho, it's Chinook salmon that make up the main prey for the southern resident killer whales. But coho are often seen as an indicator for salmon health, which is why Pickens looks at the creek in her backyard as an important messenger for all salmon. They will recognize that salmon are critical to orcas, whether those salmon are Chinook or Chum. It, it doesn't really matter. They're salmon. It's a simple message. Salmon are important, so how do we keep them here? So I'll do a couple of scoops here and see what we come up with. We didn't find any fish on our search, but Hinton will be back tomorrow, just like he is every day. This is not the Columbia River, obviously, but, but it's, it's a little something that we can do, you know, and, and, and feel real good about and feel close to nature and, and, uh, and in our own minuscule way of saving the world, you know, one fish at a time. Hi, I'm King 5 environmental reporter Allison Morrow. Check out our Saving the Orcas playlist for more videos like this one. Make sure to subscribe to the King 5 channel to get alerts when there's a new video published. What topic do you want us to cover next? Let us know in the comments below.